It's like, no, it's, this is a clown show. So listen to this pitch. 27-year-old YouTuber turned boxer who has beaten non-boxers. And his only loss was against an actual boxer. Fights a once great, iconic, knockout artist, heavyweight champion who's 58 years old. If I send that as a pitch to anybody, someone's getting a shotgun and smacking me over it. Not even shoot, smacking me over the head with it repeatedly. Because that's a dumbass pitch. So you say to yourselves that how did these guys manage to entice us into this? It's similar to um, Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather. Guys are like, oh my gosh, Conor McGregor, who's amazing in UFC. I can't wait to not knock him out. But guys are like, oh, okay, yeah, we know Conor McGregor is great in UFC, but this is boxing. And he's never boxed before. And he's going up against one of the most talented boxers of all time, who just so happens to be undefeated against all the professional boxers. So you look at this, and what was the what, what was the ruse? And see the and look, they are, they're smart. They knew what they're doing now. Luckily, I didn't pay for it because obviously my big bro has Netflix. So I just watched it on, we, we just watched it to, to, together. But I didn't pay anything. So we're just already on his Netflix account. There's no chance in hell I was paying for this. No way. Yeah, I'll watch it for free. For for free. But I'm not, I'm not paying one cobble for this. Because I was like, no, I mean, like this is, it's a clown show. It's a circus act. Because... For Jake Paul, okay, you beat Tyson. Okay, you beat a guy who's 58 years old. Oh, boy, it's Mike Tyson. No, no. This is boxing. So I think George Foreman might be the oldest guy to actually box when he was in his 40s. In his 40s. And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bernard Hopkins ended up outside of the ring because he was too old and he was in his 40s. So when you hit 40, guys are like, you should not be in the ring. At 40 years old, you have no, you are seen as ancient as a 40 year old. 50, now, see, now you're having a joke. See, 40s, you shouldn't be in the ring. If you're in your 40s in boxing, you should not be in the ring. 50, you're having a laugh. You're having a laugh. So, because watch this, I was like, there was, there's always something in the back of you, like, can Tyson just snap and just spring in a step and just do something? And these are guys who you don't understand boxing. Yes, everyone has a punch's chance. Yes, he still packs the, the, the knockouts. But as Roy Jones Jr. was saying in the commentary, his legs. Look at Tyson at his peak. What made Tyson so good was his spring. How he was able to move, his spring and his step and move. You see, Tyson ain't Deontay Wilder. Don't get it twisted. Deontay Wilder is a horrendous boxer. Terrible feet, terrible technique. He is a Trash boxer, brick boxer. He just has an amazing knockout punch, which he always manages to, to find. Mike Tyson was an extremely good boxer who was who went through the amateurs and was very well trained. So when you look at his boxing mechanics and how he was able to get into his sweet spots, it was a mixture of his speed, his leg movement, his head movements, and his ability to surgically find those areas in which to, to say, say well, what's up. So that's very different from now expecting that of a 58-year-old, you know? And again, this just takes me back to what Canelo Alvarez said, where he says, this, this, this is garbage. So on one hand, because me and my brother were talking about it, because my bro was like, look, give, you have to give these polls credits that this has been, because he said like, this has been watched by way more people and has a far bigger audience than any boxing Match in history, which is true. Because you think about Netflix, maybe watching it on Netflix, you look at Jake Paul's popularity. This had more eyeballs than anything else, which is true. But at the end of the day, it's a garbage product. The best fight was that fight between, I think, Serrano and Taylor, 
where Serrano got robbed by the box by the boxing judges because again, judges are crooked. Boxing is is, is crooked, and that's it was it was really ridiculous. She, 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 she got robbed, so I don't even know why people even watch a boxing anymore when everything is all rigged. But that was the best fight, and for this as a main event, I say no, it's this is a clown show, and I think that for Jake Paul, here's the thing. Because I've never paid for any of the fights. I've only watched, watched the fights for free. Here's the thing, Jake. Fight, fight a boxer. Like, so guys, think about it. The first boxer you fought was a... That guy is a freaking... Tier, he's from the road. Tommy Fury is from the road. He's a rigmarole. So my thing is, if that Tommy Fury can do that to you, Canelo kind of Alvarez would knock you out. He would knock you the heck out. Terence Crawford, even if I don't think in the, weight, the same weight class, he'll knock you out. So, because last I checked, this is boxing. So that's what I mean. This is not a boxing. This is a circus act. This is a that's what this is a gimmick. It's a gimmick. And yeah, some people, may, and the reality is, the casual will more likely watch the gimmick than the boxing fights. There are more people attracted to a gimmick than a boxing fight because boxing is a sport, and they are boxing purists. Hey, Jake Paul. YouTuber that people don't like, they want to see knocked out against Mike Tyson, one of the most famous sports people before. It's a gimmick. It's a it's a circus act, and you can always sell this the circus act. But after watching, I was like, this. I mean, this this is just, 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 just a mess. This this just it's, it's a mess. It's a mess, you know. So, um, because at the end, at the end of the day, I want to be entertained. Here's the thing: whether it's boxing or a gimmick, entertain me. And this wasn't entertaining because Mike Tyson is 58 years old. Why, why am I watching a 58-year-old fight a 27-year-old? Just think, why is a 58-year-old fighting a 27-year-old in boxing? That sounds stupid. But it's Jake Paul, it's Mike Tyson, it's what Jake Paul brings, what Mike Tyson brings. Okay, that's cool, but this, this, I mean, this was terrible. This was all his friends, it was terrible. Like, I give credit to Mike Tyson for at least not getting knocked out acquitting himself well and being able to at least last those eight rounds. But by the fifth round, I was like, this guy's old, bro. This guy's old. This guy's old, bro. You know? So, and for Jake Paul, I'm like, bro, if 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 you don't fight a boxer in his peak, I don't want to see you fight. But then again, guys, it's about the gimmick. So, with Fury is, all oh, the thing about the Fury is what they're about. But he knows that, like, you, you can't get in the ring with Colonel Alvarez. No. <laughs> You cannot get in the ring with Canal Alvarez. And Canal Alvarez, I, I can imagine from his point of view where, like, the, this, you are... You see, it's a tough one because at the end of the day, it is a W. They got viewers. They got... It was almost a packed out arena with 70, 80,000 people um, in Texas. People watching that. So you got the audience. So at the end of the day, everyone got paid and it was a W. Who knows? It was probably rigged. Jake Popper said, Tyson, don't knock me out. Let this last till eight runs and, and we're all good. So who knows? Everyone got paid at the end of the day. So this is a W for Tyson. It's a W for Jake Paul because everybody ate financially. But for a viewer member like me who wants to be entertained, I was like, this, this was a clown show. This was nothing but a, just a freaking clown show. So, um, but, 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 but the sad thing though is that but look at the set of boxing. Can a heavyweight... Do you... So Fury Usyk 2 isn't going to get this amount of numbers. That's because I just think that there isn't that attraction in heavyweights to really attract people. Like if Deontay Wilder was just a better boxer, if Joshua was just a better boxer, and then you bring in with Tyson... Like a Joshua Tyson Fury thing would have maybe gathered a bit of interest. But even by, by that... Bro, Jake Paul has way too many followers. So no matter how big or how good um, Fury or Joshua could be, the following that Jake Paul brings is, is, is too vast. So, but my thing here is to make this so much, Jake Paul, you've got to fight an actual boxer. You have to fight, fight an actual boxer because if you fight a non-boxer, you'll probably knock the man because Jake Paul, he's a decent boxer. And he's actually put in the work and he's actually trained. Now, I still think that the fights are rigged. I still think that guys have, have been paid. So I still don't believe that these fights are legit. But at the end of the day, 
Jake Paul, he's winning. Because you are still tuning into it. People have not caught on that. So this is a clown show. And when he now says, you know what? I'm going to, if Jake Paul says that I'm going to go to Springfield and I'm going to fight Cross to the clown. I'm going to bring Cross the clown from Springfield here. Guys will pay and watch. Man, come on, Krusty. Come on, Krusty. Knock out Jake Paul. Oh, no, that's, they'll do that. I mean, I don't want to say this. I don't want to, and I feel bad saying this. <laughs> if Jake Paul said, I'm, I'm, I want to fight Tyrion Lannister, Peter Dinklage, Hold on, just guys, just. If Jake Paul said he wanted to fight Tyrion Lannister, aka Peter Dinklage, people would tune in. <laughs> people, people would tune in. To, people would tune in to see Jake Paul fights Peter. <laughs> People would tune in to watch Jake Paul fight Peter Dinklage. That is how messed up this is. And somehow they would sell Jake Paul. <laughs> somehow they would sell Jake Paul fighting Peter Dinklage. That is how stupid things have gotten. Guys, where are we in society right now? Guys, guys, guys come on. A 27-year-old against a 58-year-old, really? And next thing you will see, Jake Paul fights Peter Dinklage. That's next thing you, you, you'll see. That's the next thing you'll freaking see. You probably see Jake Paul fights a 500 pound woman. Oh man, come on baby, come on baby. Shake that ass, shake that ass, shake that flap. It is, guys, I'm sorry, it, it may sound wrong, but the, Jake Paul can somehow sell him fighting Peter Dinklage and can somehow sell him fighting a 500 pound woman. Because it's so absurd, it's so weird. I wanna see what, what happens. <laughs> 